Elon Musk's ambitious space startup SpaceX taking the top spot on the just released CNBC disruptor list. Musk's goals include travel to Mars. Yesterday tweeting an image of a new spacecraft which could be used for its first manned space mission. Companies giving CNBC a rare look inside its facility. And that's where we find our Morgan Brennan who joins us today from Hawthorne, California. Hey Morgan. Hey, Carl, that's right. So Elon Musk, SpaceX is a six-time CNBC disruptor, and this year marks the second time it has topped our list. Now, I sat down with COO and President Gwen Shotwell in an exclusive and rare interview to discuss the financials of this closely held company. The firms that assess private market activity say there's so much investor interest in SpaceX that this is a company that can afford to be picky. Can you afford to be picky? We can afford to be picky. Yes, there's a lot of people that, a lot more people that want our stock than we're willing to sell. It's a great place to be in. So in light of that, you've been recently raising more funding. How should we think about that? So we're raising funding kind of bit by bit. Uh, we don't want to do big rounds. Uh, we want to just do it as we need it. Um, so I, I think you probably continue to see some of that. Uh, but again, we're being very picky about who invests in the company. They have to share our vision, long-term vision. And ultimately, getting people to Mars, it's a big job. It's going to take years. And we want investors with patience as well as excitement about what we're trying to do. The pitch book pegs SpaceX's valuation at about $25 billion. Does that sound about right? I think we're a little higher than that, maybe almost $28 billion. In the past, Elon Musk has said that maybe SpaceX would go public once you are doing regular trips to Mars. Is that still the plan? We, we actually don't talk too much about going public right now. Uh, we keep our heads down and focused on doing the work that we have to do, try to uh, achieve the vision that Elon sets out for us. Um, one way or the other, uh, it's not until then, at a minimum. We, ca we can't go public until we're flying regularly to Mars. Now, Shotwell says SpaceX is still on track to begin transporting humans to the red planet in 2024. But this is going to involve a new, more powerful rocket known as the Big Effing Rocket, or BFR for short, that is still currently uh, in development. We're going to be digging into that in even more detail. We're going to be talking about the new satellite business, how SpaceX works with its sister company, Tesla, and of course, what it's like to work for Elon Musk. We've got all of that, guys, and so much more coming up in the next hour on Squawk Alley. Back over to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.